I mean, but I also really it's feel good. I mean, everything suck a bit at the beginning. I mean, look at her. We are the, the Capitano, of course, and now. <coughs> Um, apparently Sunny came in here and, uh, dropped off her weapons. I said I'd fix them for her. I don't know where they are. Yeah. yeah. In there. No. Do you mind if I... Oh, certainly. Hmm. she tell you anything about what happened? Yeah. Briefly. she tell you? <clears throat> Bits and pieces. Enough to know that a mutual associate, aka bastard, is probably going to be making a visit. Going to be pissed off. Only if he finds out. <clears throat> I somehow feel as if this person usually finds things like this out. Unfortunately. Yeah, it's uh. Well, it's not going to happen again. Don't worry. I mean, I'm not able to do much in this arena. It's <clears throat> strictly up to you and her, but... Yeah, I know. Regardless, just need to be careful if you take some more active role around here. We have enough trouble as it is. Yeah. Yeah, ain't that the fucking truth? Um... Right. Thought it's okay with all this pirate stuff happening? Like pirate hunting thingy? Just want to double check that she's all good. <sighs> So, in that regard, she, uh, she was quite, uh, panicked last night. <clears throat> she apparently had heard about it. And thankfully, I managed to figure out a way to try and spare her that. Essentially, used one of her old comrades, uh, turned him over instead, and spun a tale of how Marty had already had a slave brand on her back, which is true. And that other dogs were using her to clean up the province. You don't think the Dao is gonna squeal? No, oh, he's probably going to try. But again, I didn't lie about her being here. I didn't lie <clears throat> about her having a slave brand on her back. So, it's his word against mine. With regard to the sunfish, though, isn't it? Right, the sunfish. Isn't that what this whole they found any more? Thing is, yeah, sunfish, the marauder, and a third ship having to relate the devil eyes, which shocked me. But they didn't ask about that, so I don't know. Hmm. Well, if it is something else. Hmm. You should probably know. That Master Inquisitor... I heard about this visit from the captain from him. He and Torti are still intermixed in some way. I... <laughs> Oh, trust me. I spent most of the day trying to talk her down from it, but... Did you get a read on the guy? Uh, no, honestly. I mean, it's not just the mask. I mean, I don't know how they train those guys, but... <laughs> it's He's one of the hardest people to read I've ever known, quite honestly. Even without that mask, I don't think <clears throat> I'd have a read on him. No, he, he treats her with... with... <sighs> It's all of these, Sorry. these, these women that he's been talking to are telling me he's different. He's not like other inquisitors. He's different. He's different. I fuck. I've yeah. heard about some of the shit that he's done. I how is he? He's just better yeah. at hiding no. it. I, <clears throat> I, he he presents himself in a certain way, and he doesn't he doesn't mess up. He doesn't misstep. He's always that way with her, and apparently other women the same way with them. So I think he's very calculated, and I'm terrified if he decides to 
do something drastic, a lot of people are going to get caught in the crossfire. Drastic in regards to... I don't know. I mean, one day, the Inquisitors may decide they want to start taking people to a pyre, and we would do our best, or maybe they would go out into the wilderness and hunt people from Cassetto and Balerno. I don't know. I've never dealt with these people before. You have. I assumed you would know. <laughs> I wouldn't put it past them. <clears throat> I tried my best to explain that he clearly is hiding something. And that he, she has not seen his real identity. How much of a monster he really is. Mm -hmm. She is concerned with the here and now. She says she, she accepts that it may happen one day, but she... She's young, Gabum. I mean, she's... Yeah. No. I don't know. She's young. She a... feels alone. <clears throat> she... He's using it. I know he is. I just don't know why. Yeah. I don't know what his goals are. He says he's here to hunt monsters, which, I mean, great, go kill the Cyclops or the Orcs or something. <clears throat> Mm-hmm. But, uh, I mean... I don't know. I've been trying to figure it out. I've been trying to get a read on him. I've been trying to listen to the stories. Uh, <clears throat> Apparently he's super nice around them and super understanding and he's never asked about certain things and, and all this. But on the other hand, mm -hmm. he's, he's uh, you know, being all... <laughs> Inquisitory. Yeah, no. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know much about Inquisitors, but I know about men like him. And there's always something beneath the surface. Mm hmm. So, always. Unfortunately, I'm in the same boat you are, my lord. I can't get a read on him, and I don't think I'll be able to. Unless Torti somehow manages to slip up and give me something. Well, which I doubt will happen. The thing is, though, you're. <laughs> Torti's the most likely person to slip up in that sort of thing. In the dynamic between the Inquisitor and Torti, she is the most likely person to slip up. The question is, what is he telling her that she could slip up with? She, he might, might not even be anything. We might, he, like, as, as you said, he's right. never made a mistake. Like, pff, she might not even have anything. Right. That's what I'm afraid of. But she's not giving us stuff freely. She's not willingly telling us things, if there is anything to tell. Which concerns me. No. <clears throat> it's, yeah, it's concerning. Well, you may be right. Maybe she honestly does know nothing because he tells nothing, which is what I would assume. Then why be around her? What does he mean? <laughs> I don't know. That's, that's the part I can't figure out. It's driving me insane. <sighs> I'm just trying to look out for her as best as I can. I haven't been able to be around much, but Yes, I no. realize, my lord. That's why I'm telling you this, because a day may come where something may happen, and I prefer you to know as much as you can, as opposed to being blindsided by something. Absolutely. Just trying to protect our friends. Yes. All right. I won't keep you any longer. You know the deal. If something pops up, let me know, and we'll work together. <clears throat> Certainly. You have a good night, Gerbon. You as well, my lord. Hope uh, to ever unleash, actually. I was the first female Shaq to Hooper to unleash. Truly. Not many. How are things? Is he? How are you? Busy. Yeah. Dealing with pissed off people. Trying to improve the farm. Are you sure you're not a noble? <laughs> uh, 
I don't want to be. Nah. I hate politics. Um, yeah, I know. Me too, buddy. Although, what's gonna drive me nuts? Um, I'm not gonna charge you for because I don't know Arca that much. No, why they are. I don't want to report this to the guards for obvious reasons. And they were behind my house with some other, I'm guessing, slave. And they came through around. Now, any other farmer that would have seen that? would have reported that to the guard because that could be seen as attempting theft because you're going behind a farmer's house or conspiring at the least yeah i'll um yeah also guards are patrolling around there and they're shooting to kill a killer and if they're doing that you know it looks wrong I understand. <clears throat> I'll um, get the message to them, or at least to Sarah. Good, because I don't want the back of my home to be used as a, especially for what's behind there. Yeah. What is behind there? Oh, that's my spice field. I'll pretend I didn't hear that. I'll um. I'll let Sarah know. I have written permission, so... Oh, then it's fine. Um, yeah, I'll let Sarah know, and I'll uh, try and stop that from happening then. If they wish to sneak, they can sneak out that way, not the back of my home. <laughs> yeah, thanks for letting me know. <laughs> I'll try and handle it for you. You have a good night. I'm just going to park this out the front. <laughs> One second chat.
Go pee and I'll be back in a second. Do 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 do. This music's so chill. Contraption. I just put a couple of things in certain holes and he did most of the work. <laughs> Good to see it actually working. Mm. <sighs> you trying to age me up yeah, a couple well. of years? You look good with grey hair. Ah, very funny. Apparently it killed a grey orc and several trolls. Mm. Is that right? So I've been told. And I did good work. Oh, you helped with that. Tang should be proud. Help Tang, yeah. I I'll swear. take a ton of credit for just putting a couple of screws in certain places. I was about to say, I swear you two are quietly holding this town together. Hmm. Everything okay? 
Wine's delicious, by the way. You want to try? Sure. You got a sad look on your face. <laughs> it's been a long day. Yeah. <clears throat> I know the feeling. Trouble always seems to loom over our heads, no matter how hard we try and duck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Go ahead, hold. Uh. I get in any more trouble. <sighs> Dare I ask? It is your choice. Should I know? Less, I suppose, about knowing, but to be honest, I'd maybe like at least your opinion on the matter. <clears throat> I usually come to you whenever I've been distraught of my own thoughts. Well, if I can help. Sure. It's been a while since I've had you over. <laughs> it's... Complicated. You sounded angry earlier when she wanted to talk to Venora. <clears throat> oh, that is of the matter. I figured. Uh, I'd like to say that if anything, maybe we are all at fault, myself included. Try not to give any long-winded speeches and get to the point. Sure. <laughs> Sorry about the mess over there. That's, <clears throat> well, product of my own making. Hmm. It's been a while since I've been in here. Yes, I've tried to keep it at least up, to, well, up in cleanliness, excluding the book piles. Those are there for good meaning. <sighs> Where do I begin? Well, suppose I should start at the beginning of this little problem that has unfortunately caused a great, maybe not rift, but tension. It started yesterday. Faye was discussing matters with someone privately. Normally, I don't ever intrude on such matters, but suppose with everything that has happened over the time, between information slipping and people finding out things they shouldn't, I... I had to be sure. Sure. Well, she was discussing down below... I snuck in from above. Suppose it's easy to be sneaky in one's home when you've entered that door more times than you can count. Mm-hmm. Point being, she was talking with Torty. Normally, that wouldn't have proven nothing to me. But Faye began to relay information. Very particular information that, if I'm being quite honest, Torty has no right nor any reason to know. This information being... It's... I don't know how much Fay or even El has relayed to you in this sort of lie we've been keeping up with the Inquisitor. But... I suppose Torty has some sort of relation with the Inquisitor as well. Absolutely. Obviously. I wanted to believe that it was just something stupid, or perhaps maybe just him inquiring, but... 
Yes, to whatever reason, Faye relayed the, that relayed how L has been working alongside the Inquisitor. Obviously, joined to the fact that she is trying to upkeep the fact that Faye is not a maiden, that she is just merely a chieftain. Because if this information became apparent, not only would L die, obviously Faye would die. All of us would be probably would be massacred. So, she relayed the information to Torti in regards to that, obviously, of what El was doing and why. Because <clears throat> apparently Torti had some fear of the relation of her own. I... She had relayed much else in terms of her own, her own doings. Obviously, that has no repercussions. But that, that hearing that alone, the reason why it stuck with me is because... Prior to this, we've had a very extenuous meeting at the Grove. All of us. All of those who've joined, and all those who have affiliated. We have made it well apparent that we can't affiliate ourselves with really any more people. Obviously for the fact that we're not trying to be known. And we've tried our best, our damnedest, <clears throat> to make sure that stays that way. Mm -hmm. Doing that exactly violates entirely what we had agreed upon. Yeah. <clears throat> it also violates the fact that she has said to Elle several times that I will remain out of your business. And <clears throat> she did. But then she did that. I... I don't know what possessed her to do it. I... I don't know if it's just because she wants to reassure Tori that we're not some sort of threat that... To, from the Inquisitor, I... It is so confusing. But the point still stands that she relayed the information. It sounds like a Venora play to move, honestly. It is, but... Obviously, El went and confronted her about the matter. Apparently, they got at each other's throats, practically, about about it. They now claim she can no longer... She, she doesn't sure she can trust me, which, to be honest, I don't blame her. What I did was very uncharacteristic for me. And even if my reasoning was justified, it doesn't still justify the whole action itself. To violate privacy is... It's not right. <sighs> Venora does this time and time again. You're right to be worried. I don't know how many times I've told her, don't do this specific thing, and then the next day she does it. I mean... The whole taking the Baroness to see, uh, taking Ladia to see the Baroness. Oh uh, yes, the fuck. miracle that happened in a fucking <clears throat> fortnight. Yeah. I. And she doesn't even know it. You... She doesn't even know it. But they undid so much work that we had been trying to do. She, she basically put us back to square one by doing that. How many campaigns? Did you suffer through? A lot. I lost count of how many times they put you out on the front, and I had to sit there and watch as one of my dear friends leads the vanguard against what have ultimately could have been his immediate death. They don't care. Venora didn't care. Uh, Ladia clearly didn't care or didn't think, and the barons couldn't give a shit anymore. <clears throat> I. Everything's I my fault, part. and I don't, I don't win. And we were on our way somewhere until they went and did that. And now we're back to square one. There was a a ceremony they had up there in the throne room. We invited all the nobles who took part in defending the province and they gave out tithes of land and titles and awards and everything. They gave things to Ladia, they gave things to Venora, they gave land to Venora, they gave tell or keep to someone, they gave uh, all these fiefs to these nobles who I'd never even heard of. They didn't even look at Arnorai during the whole service. Uh, 
I but can't the, even begin to understand the level of frustration you must have felt in that moment. The whole reason we're doing what we were doing was to try and gain standing with them so that we could help secure the province and, and use it as a launching point for our thing, for what we need to do. <clears throat> but them doing that just completely to undermined take back us. your home. They don't care. <sighs> they never do. No. But... Guardians are driven always and always <clears throat> by one fucking thing. Coin. Oh yeah, and we were playing on that. We were playing on that and it was working right up until... Venora and... Fucking Ladia pulled that. I mean, just everything just went <clears throat> away. So I understand. I bet they still don't even understand what they did to you and your father. I don't think they care. Otherwise, they would have thought about it. <laughs> of course not. Um, my point being. I understand the frustration of clearly explaining Venora not to do something and having her do it anyway. I, it's just I just expect it now, so I I don't. I, and it I is just definitely better you know. <sighs> it's better that that L knows, especially if you're playing this fucking dance with the Inquisitor. <clears throat> it's better that you yes. know that Torty knows and. She's not exactly great with secrets. I understand that. It's just now Elle has to watch another person because the worst of it all is that this isn't the first time a slip like this has happened. Yep. Harry was dumb enough to even basically relay the same thing for the Inquisitor when I believe he had asked in regards to a maiden. And then, I believe, I think... Harry said, almost said, who Venora? I, I can't remember exactly what in fucking infuriating <clears throat> thing he said, but he essentially almost spelt it out. Yeah. And I... I don't know. When they got into it, obviously Elle felt some sort of regret. Maybe perhaps feeling that she's been far too hard-handed hard because of how often we, we've had to. Uh, but at the same time, I mean, yeah. I, I I do wonder what she thinks when she tells people these things, right? Is she just too trusting? I know that's true, but you, you yes, it. She's playing with lives, not just her own. Exactly. <clears throat> you can see, this is. I could not have talked to any person better in regards to this level of just confusion and frustration. I... She, essentially, as far as everyone knew, poisoned the Baroness, gave her some mystery thing, put the Baroness into a fucking coma, Arn and I march up there, put, Arn puts his neck on the line. He says, if it doesn't fix the Baroness, or if the Baroness like, dies, you can cut my head off and you can cut Venora's head off. He said that to get Venora out of those cages. And they said, sure, but you're, you're taking control over her. She is your responsibility. Fine. During this whole time, we're that. supposed to be looking after Venora. During this time, I'm saying, don't bring people into the house. Don't don't go anywhere without a guard or, or people telling like or telling me or something like this um all of these things and she would keep doing it like don't leave without telling me or Marcus or Tiberius and we can come with you and protect you and she would keep keep doing it now remember <clears throat> if there was someone who wanted to have on or Venora, or the Baroness killed. Anyone. All they would have to do was fuck up that treatment. Somehow. Kidnap Venora, sneak into the house, kill the Baroness, and we would all be dead. If there was someone in this town who, I don't know, had a vendetta against Arn for a long fucking time that wanted him dead, all he would have to do is fuck up this operation somehow. And they tried. At night, 
the servants of Ash were scratching around on our roof, trying to get in, testing locks. But Venora was happy to walk name. out into the fucking wilderness alone without guards several times, even after I remind her. And then, uh, after this whole thing happens, walks up to the Baroness and, and hands her over to the enemy, as far as we knew. So, my frustration with her, and, and she gets this land, and she has no idea how to run it. She's asking me, how do I, how do I run it? How do I pay taxes? How do I, and all this stuff. And I'm trying to bail her out in the, the small council meeting, but they don't care. So, I understand <laughs> your frustrations. At this point, I I plan to talk to her tomorrow morning. I will I will apologize for what I did. It's just her response being so volatile was I don't know. Between that, I can understand at least the point of why she didn't think she could trust me. I can mend that. But so as far as it, she was going to pack everything up and then entirely just leave and go to the grove. It, I don't think she would have understood what that would have caused. The Inquisitor watches us. Have they told you that he's prowled around our grove? Really? He's aware of it. A man is beyond efficient. A killer. Beyond any I've seen. I... I've come to fear many things in my time here, but I don't let them distract me, but him. He may have the guise of a human, but he is far from anything I've seen. And I have witnessed Risa. He's getting his... <laughs> he's popping up in a lot of places, that's for sure. Honestly, like I said, it's not even the fact of probably what he's capable of. It's just of his mind. Where to be, who to talk to, who to manipulate, who to maybe spill a lie to, who even to tell the truth. It's as if he knows the immediate reaction. I don't know. I've... I try not to, to have my mind drown in these thoughts and just focused on what I can do. And right now, the only thing I've been focusing on is making sure at least that Elle doesn't just get swallowed by her regrets. You saw how she was. Sometimes this is all you can do. Circle the wagons a little bit, <clears throat> you know? Your advice is coming great handy. About wearing the armor. That's why we do it. We do. But that has been well, the most taxing thing on my mind. <laughs> if you wanted me to finish up our previous conversation before you were <laughs> bombarded by every noble I think in the goddamn keep, that one will be brief if you have somewhere to be. No, go ahead. So, as humorous as it might seem that I'm helping Miss Ladia, I do not wish to see oh. her suffer. Hey, Sean, I got the, uh, deal. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm just getting the, uh, I'm just getting the fibers downstairs, we live downstairs. Um, That's, uh, also, yeah. I got some good news. Oh, there you go. Yes. So, I got done talking with the Baroness. Uh, looks like it's looking pretty promising for Balerno so far with Miss Laudia. Two no's and a yes is not bad on some of the things that they were wanting. But good news for the forest. Terms. Mm, aye. Uh, for the forest, I'm going to provide herbs and tinctures and stuff like that. And the uh, Miss Laudia said I'm getting what they call a stipend uh, per delivery, I guess, or something like that. Or yes, per day. Guaranteed pay. 
Police yeah. Um, but what I suggested was, um, and she's going to ask the two Baroness, and it deals a little bit with your father, but, um, I'm going to, she's going to be down in a whisper because she doesn't want Laura laid to heal. Um, I'm going to be taking the stone and wood that we've collected, help rebuild the hunter's camp so it can regulate the wildlife better, you know? And then after they're done, if the Baron, if, if the Barons agree to it, then after that, I would give the hatchets to the um, woodcutters, woodcutters camp. Yes. And then the pickaxes will go to your father to the iron mines. And then that way, because she said our my utilize of my land would be better help suited for the herbal production and stuff like that. And so it just made more sense for me to give up the things I don't need anymore, which is the pickaxes and access to those who could use it for, you know. So it just made more sense. So I just got to wait. Say, I'll be in by the grove this morning. You'll be there, right? Aye, yes, I will. We'll talk. Uh, yeah. I'm okay now. I understand what I did wrong. I'll I'll just put it that. It's uh, it's not about you. It's about me. Uh, like I said, okay. we'll talk. All right. All right. Um, but I just wanted to let you know. As soon as the she talks to the brothers, if they okay, then after we're done using the tools for the hunters' camp, then. I'll turn over the six iron picks, uh, six iron pick is to your father and you, okay? Absolutely. Thank you. All right. I won't take any of your time. I'm going to head home. Y'all have a good night. Safe travels, Fay. I'll see you tomorrow. You as well. See you tomorrow. Where'd you go, uh, Lisa? She's still up here. Oh. Give her a moment. Thieves can't. Uh, you want me to teach her a bit more? So oh, um... Well... No one, no one. Kyler's already here. He's probably already told you, but if he hasn't, um, make sure we don't mm -hmm. use the venom sacks. They might be needed for elixirs later. Sure. Keep them in the back. Okay. I'll be outside, Lisa. You're nearly hmm? fully. Done. You understand much. Sounds good. Take care. Be safe. Um, <clears throat> Ladio, right? <laughs> like a storm on a winter wind, uh, blows in without you even knowing. <laughs> <laughs> yes, on that matter, Ladio. As I had relayed, her condition is far worse. Tonight, what I intend to do is create, well, something that does not exist. Originally, she took something which is referred to as the Draught of Peace. You might have heard that in passing, but it does almost exactly what it says. It is supposed to bring peace of mind. That is no longer effective. 
Fay has given me, well, something that is the hardest thing I've ever had to work with. A life blue. I have been spending all my nights, every day, waking, testing every sort of method I could to try implementing that plant. <laughs> Barely even a plant, it's almost just pure fucking magic. Nothing about it makes any logical sense. But I've been attempting to make something completely new, as if to make the draught of peace over again with this this ingredient in hopes that it will bring maybe the same restoring effectiveness, but to the mind. It's been taxing. <laughs> I've followed every met methodology that I could. <clears throat> I've been following every bits of scrap and paper, some as volatile, as you heard. Why don't you just use whatever <sighs> she used for the uh, Baroness? Some kind of berry. I don't even know if she can get one of those again. I don't even know where she got the first one. I don't know, man. <clears throat> I don't know about any of this stuff. <sighs> yeah, I figured it would be a little complicated. <laughs> Point being, that is what I've been up to. Trying to save people around me, even if they're not even remotely thankful for it. Yeah. You'd be doing a lot more of your time than wasting it on Lady Heidemann. <laughs> if it hadn't been for your father asking, like I said, I wouldn't bother. Don't know why he would. I don't know either. I don't say you would po I wouldn't ask you to pose the question either to him. Would be a distraction to what you two are currently doing. Yeah. Still, if I do create this, they were not only were only going to be the only recipient of this. The other was going to go to you, Lisa. Now that I would put forth more effort, even though she has vehemently stated that I mean absolutely nothing to her. Still, at least I can sense there's something there. Maybe not as well as the rest of everyone, but... I will try. I would Have they appreciate told that. you what the plan is? Actually, actually I'll, I'll even get to tell you what the plan was with her. With Lisa? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they want to dress her up and make her seem more normal, or whatever the fuck. <laughs> I imagine you wouldn't exactly be, well, you'd care to. This stems from me imparting to Faye that if she's going to be a noble, if she's going to fuck around up there in the keep, she should have someone there to properly guard her, like a, uh, an honor guard or something of this sort. <clears throat> I was thinking Harry, but she seems to think Lisa would be good for that, which I'm all for. I trust Lisa more than I do, say, Harry, but <sighs> it's really not her cup of tea. It really isn't. No. In some of the things I agree with, I... When we had that meeting in the Grove, she made it very clear of her distaste for many of us. She practically said that we were all meaningless to her, that the only thing that she ever cared about was Faye. Now, how true that was, or however it was, I don't know. What I would hope that maybe she would gain from all of this is maybe a bit of humanity left. I don't wish to see her become true to her nickname. I don't think she wants to live out, or I'd hope not to live out the life as the as wolf, to be treated as such, as a wild beast.
But it seems this is a lot of it to cover grief, is what Alice told me. Unless you were <coughs> properly grieved. Her armor stays tear, on. For any of them. I know it. I figured she would follow the same ideology. It's just it's tearing herself apart. That is the downside, yes. She barely sleeps. She barely eats. We are brother and sister. <laughs> the family we have, uh... Yeah. I'll try and talk to her and... figure something out. Hmm. Anyway. The dressing up and everything is... <laughs> is not important. <laughs> No, I just, yeah. I won't keep you from your, uh, experiments, but do rest. <laughs> you do actually care about me a bit, hmm? <laughs> Don't let it go to your head. You have a good night, Osha. Come now, my lord. The first time I've had you over in ages. <laughs> Kyla. Thank you. I hope the next time I have you in here will be for a lot better. You still owe me that duel, you know. <laughs> I have I'm never forgotten. I'm sorry to disturb y'all again. Um, so a lady is looking for you. Something about a funeral. I'll be down. Maybe calls, my friend. Okay. Yeah. All right. Sorry about that, O'Shawn. I didn't mean to disturb y'all again. You're fine. I locked the door behind me. He's coming out, my lady. I've come to escort you. You would like to follow. Can I ask where? My my sister, Miss Miss Dara. Had um, stated that you were to be at a funeral for her husband. I'm asking if you would attend, that is. Lead the way. Thank you. Thank you for um, saying you would go. Hmm. As you walk behind her, Kyler, the woman's clothes are somewhat worn. And you can see definitely at the bottom by where she's walking, it's frayed. Likely a lower middle class family. It's just outside the walls. My brother-in-law used to make her very happy. I've never seen her cry this much. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> you little fucking turd bucket. Get this shit up, I'm gonna fuck your wife. You understand me? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, I'll remain in case. Chat, do we know who the fuck this is? I can't remember. <clears throat> okay, from the QRF. <clears throat> Probably. I'm not get, about to get jumped, am I? So hard to see out here at night. I'll let you know if you're about to uh, walk into anything. 
Thank you kindly. My sis my sister and her daughter are um are going to be thankful that you have appeared and uh I'm here showing your support. I out of character don't remember who this is. See, somebody was supposed to tell you. Go. You'll see. Okay, sure. He, um, if you must know, uh, yesterday, but uh, you probably already know this, um, uh, he was a sergeant. My brother in law. Mm. And he passed away when, um, Oh, the large, terrible fight happened. We weren't told much. Just that he died protecting Nodus, I suppose. There's been, unfortunately, a lot of that happening recently. There has been. So much death. That's why. I want to see that. Then this bloody fence goes on further. who we are, be it elf, dwarf, hobbit, human. A heart is present within us. From the moment we are brought into the world, Ishara cradles us. Thank you for coming. Not our flesh, not our blood. But our very souls. We are taught from birth that life can be brutal and unfair. <clears throat> this is our sergeant, right? Yes. The mortal spirit endures. <laughs> Kindness endures. Love endures. And when it is your time, too, to return to Osara's embrace, if you have lived true, as this man has, friends and family, will be there to say their goodbyes. But to return to Asara is not something to weep for. True peace, wholeness of self, a return to what we were before we gave ourselves to this world. The parts of us that we lost when we sweat, we cried, we bled. He's returned to us through Asara's grace. Sergeant Emil was a good man, loved by his wife, by his daughter, and by his friends. And by he his was. lord, who has graced us with his presence. My lord, if there is anything you wish to say, now would be the time. I'll, um, keep it brief, as was my time with the sergeant. As you stand here, Tyler, inhaling, about to breathe, your eyes survey the scene in front of you. The body bag just outside of the dug hole. The flowers set before it, the family before them, looking at you in a way no one has ever looked at you before. They're looking for guidance, 
They're looking for comfort. They're looking to you for what happens next as you prepare to speak. We have a saying in my family. In fact, it's our house words. <sighs> Honor and wisdom, we lead. They are below our house crest. We fly them with our colors. We take the it quite literally. We hold it in our hearts in our actions, in our choices, the decisions we make, and the sacrifices we give. Sergeant Emil fought with that in his heart, and that wasn't even something I imparted onto him. It came to him naturally. A good man died to protect this province, to protect its people, but to protect what it should stand for. Even in his last moments, there was strength. In his last moments, there wasn't fear, there was just his desire to do his duty. <sighs> Were there more men like him in the world? Were there more men that lived with honor and wisdom in their hearts? Were we all lucky enough to know more men like him? I feel the guilt. I... I try not to take these deaths to heart. I try not to let it burden me, but when you have someone this dedicated and this pure, I... it's hard to not. It was an absolute honor to serve alongside him, to fight alongside him. And I hope we take his life as a lesson, as a beacon that can guide us forward. Just as he guided me, and he protected me. So, with honor and wisdom, goodbye, Sergeant Emil. Honor and wisdom. Honor and wisdom. Honor and wisdom. Thank you, my lord and heart. You don't know how much I do. Thank you. Truly. Thank you, my lord. I'm glad With you were words, the one. <laughs> and the emotions shown before our hearts laid bare to our loved ones. Our final words being the clouds that carry them back home. Lay your final tokens of love and peace, symbols of remembrance along the lost and deceased so they may relinquish their hold upon us and continue their journey back to Asara where they will wait for us all. Thank you, my lord. Condolences, Miss Dalla. Truly. 
you will get better in time. Pray and visit. You both will heal. Thank you for coming and saying such kind words. I knew it was so sudden. You know where to I was glad to be here. Oh, good night. night. Thank you. Thank you. I wish it were more joyous. Us too. And you Sister. Never thought you would be able to be in the presence of a lord or a lady. <laughs> never would have thought of any of this. Oh, my sister. <laughs> Thank you again. I am truly sorry. Sounds like you got to know him. Thank you. I'm at least glad he seems like you got to know him in a short time. You were around him. It was a beautiful word. <sighs> I confess I didn't know it would just be talking, but I really do appreciate it. Thank you for allowing me to come. Of course. You aren't like the other lords, are you? Not the ones here. <laughs> Maybe if there are more You're good kind of leaders us. like you. Good men like him wouldn't have to die. If there were more people like me in charge, good men like him wouldn't die, and... But... <clears throat> I digress. Of course. Thank you, nonetheless. The family before you exchanges final looks and bows, and starts to head with a nod of Yeah, let's get you to bed. Thank you. I'll get the torch. Thank you again, my lord, for attending. Thank you for Thank inviting you me. You flattered me. Enjoy your evening as best as you can, and if your family needs anything, please. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. What a fucking waste of a good man. Despite the emotions running through your body, the eyes of the family upon you, looking at you in a way that you've never been looked at before a day in your life, almost shocked you into non-response. Is this what the burden of leadership is? Is this what it means to be in charge, to lead, to rule? You knew it was hard. God knows Arns preached about how hard it is. But you didn't know it felt quite like this.
even as much as that pain creeps up your back, part of you is satisfied that the family has been given closure, belief, hope. It doesn't matter if it's true. I'll live to see another day. Thanks to men like Sergeant Emil. I did. Really? I saw someone. <clears throat> Evening. Care to join us? Why don't you be a little young to be smoking? 
I've been smoking He's since before you. you were fucking born. Aren't with you a little too young? <clears throat> it was a jest. <laughs> I am only 90. You heading to, uh... I was just there, actually. I'm sure. I'm going to clean that up a little bit, aren't we? I was just giving a second-hand smoke. Yes, I am. <laughs> I'm sure she would enjoy it. Yeah. Well, we might as well That's go the long way fresh. enjoy the water. <laughs> Tubes got complain, it for me. Complain, just give him the fresh stuff then. <laughs> yeah, if you want to give me some pipe weed, I'll take it. Yeah, sure, you can buy it. That's not what I said now, is it? <clears throat> oh. Already hooked Stefano on buying him. <laughs> yeah, wasn't he fucking wankered the other day? Again, this is <laughs> where I ask. You're not lacing it with anything else, are you, to make him addicted? Absolutely not. Mm. It'd be a terrible thing to do. Brahma? Okay. Fresh pipe weed is stronger. I am so dark. I I want you to know it is so dark. I cannot see. Like I have night blindness. I actually cannot see. It's why I, I envy those who can see at night. Actually oh, envy because if if I if I walked from that way, know exactly where I was going. We went the long way. Well, you hold on to this. Hold on. Thank you. And I will do my job. Mm hmm. before he notices. <coughs> oh, mm-hmm. Uh, Miss Basil. Yes. You wouldn't have uh, been coughing because of uh, a certain reason now, would he? Like, he was smoking, <laughs> smoking his own. Were you, Kyla? Right, Kyla? You were smoking your own, right? Yeah. <laughs> Why do I not believe you? Because you're a skeptical fuck. I just got back from a funeral. Oh, did you know? <sighs> yeah. Here, hold on to this while I sit down.
Thank you. He was holding onto it so I could see it. What? It's Basil, I literally just watched him smoke it. <laughs> no, you didn't see there's the sh shush emoji. He said nothing. Uh huh. <clears throat> yeah, sure. <sighs> it was Fiora, was it? One of my men's. Sergeant. I see. <laughs> Died looking after my stupid ass. Was it doing that thing from yesterday? Yeah. One of these days, you'll get a win <laughs> without you feeling sad. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> I can dream too, you know. I just can't say it to the moon, because otherwise then it becomes cursed. And nothing good ever happens. I don't know. Remember what I told you before, Kyla? You told me a lot of things. Loss. Go on. That your first will always be the hardest. Yeah, we're past that. Way past that. Still pretty fucking hard. And I also told you it wouldn't get any easier. Yeah, you're right about that. <clears throat> To trouble <clears throat> against whom? Orcs? Scarecrows. We were supposed to have them dead to rights. I led a cavalry around the back to flank them to stop them from fleeing. We didn't realize they had their own cavalry. Incredibly well trained as well. Blindsided us completely, took us by surprise. Did my best, but I took an arrow. Got knocked off Maelstrom. That was it. Fighting on cavalry is both risky and rewarding. <clears throat> well, Intel said there was only a couple of them and they were on on foot. They completely hit us from the side. But we got Lottie on our fucking horseback. That was all worth it. Mm. Don't tell me that all of this was for a horse. The idea was to capture As long as he doesn't say that to anyone else. <clears throat> I mean, you tried that, so... At least you tried. You weren't expecting a casualty. I nearly lost my horse as well. <sighs> but they survived too. Yeah, thanks to hell. I bet you said something super inspiring, too. At that funeral. 
Just trying to lead by example, I guess. I don't even really remember what I said. I just spoke. Sabe? Yeah. Well, just so you know, then that tends to be the best kind of pep talk most people need. <clears throat> feel a little better. Was that just a large group of mercenaries that you brought with you? <clears throat> no. We had Imperial Riflemen, we had the Erhard House Guard, and we had my QRF that I was leading. Is that the one you've been training? Trying to. I seem to keep getting them killed, though. I don't think I have many more volunteers. <sighs> the worst part is because I can deal with the loss, and I understand the need for sacrifices. The worst part of it is, it's usually for stupid shit. Or because someone's being stupid. They're good men, and they don't deserve to die like that. Anyway, I won't bring the mood down anymore. I mean, we're at the grave. I know. Looks but pretty low. Look fondly on her. Uh, Rather than listening to my bullshit. Do. You two have a good night. You're going to leave us just like that, huh? Well, I wasn't in the original plans to come here. I don't want to impose. All we were doing was just going to take care of the graves and <clears> smoke. <sighs> this was spontaneous, wasn't planned. It, it was, entirely. Which is nice, because usually people plan things with me, and then <clears> it gets <throat> fucked up, and then they get all sad. And by they, I mean me. So. Yeah. At least take this bottle to go. I was gonna go grab myself a secondary one, anyways. And enjoy. Thank you. It's totally <clears throat> there in your hands. <laughs> Have a good night, you two. I'll see you tomorrow. You too. You as well. Yeah. You better rest. Yeah. Well, no, you won't. And make sure you eat tomorrow. Good night. Much as you like to skip your meals, eat tomorrow. Grave of the grave.
There's your fucking receipt. Yeah. 